Hi, in this session, I will explain how to debug stored procedures. First of all, what is meant by debugging? So debugging is the process of identifying and fixing the errors. So there can be two types of errors in Snowflake scripting. They are compilation errors and runtime errors. So what is meant by compilation errors? So you the errors you you get at the time of creating procedures at the time of compilation. So those errors are called compilation errors. So the errors you get at the time of executing stored procedures, they are called runtime errors. OK, so there are two types of errors, compilation errors and runtime errors. Let's see how to identify these errors and how to fix it. First, uh, let me go to some examples. OK, I'm taking two examples here and I'm copy pasting here. OK, so here I'm writing one uh, execute immediate block. So I'm not creating a procedure. So I'm creating one execute immediate block. OK. So first of all, I'm setting one uh, value uh, n equals to one, two, three, seven. And uh, my requirement here is to find out the given number is a even number or odd number. OK, so set this value. OK, so I, I have created a block of code here. So saying uh, if the given number mod two equals to zero, then print this is a even number else print it is a odd number. OK, so now I'll try to create execute this. OK, so it is saying some uncut exception. Unexpected error. OK, it line number seven at uh, this uh, parenthesis. OK, and the error message is uh, there is some error at given number is even number. But can you identify what is the error in this block of code? OK, it is saying line number seven. Wait, where is line number seven? This is the line number seven. But it is saying again line number four. OK, uh, position 15. So line number four is nothing here. And the error message is given number is even number. So if you see there is no error here. So if you keenly identify. So what we are saying, it is a simple block. If you see if we are begin, we are starting the program with the begin. If n mod 2 equals to then return this else return this close the program. So if you observe this, uh, you can you can say like there are no errors in the program, but it is giving some error. Where is the error? So this is very difficult to find out the error because it is not pointing where the exact error is. So that's the problem we have or that's the limitation we have with the Snowflake scripting. It is very difficult to identify the compilation errors. So now I am try, trying to create it or execute it. OK, so suppose uh, treat this as a procedure. So it's very difficult to identify where is the error based on the error description. OK, now tell me where is the error. OK, so if n mod 2 equals to 0, then OK, so return else. OK, we have end. So this end is corresponding to this begin statement. But if you see there is no end if. So we are not closing the end if that's why we are getting this error. But is it pointing? Is it saying something like uh, if uh, you have you, you are not closing the if statement properly or there is an error with the if class. So by seeing this error message, can you identify that error? No, it's not possible. That's the limitation we have. So I'm saying again and again. So it's very difficult to find out where the exact error is. OK. So I'll tell you what to do in these cases. Suppose now I'm writing and if. OK. So suppose I'm just writing like this. OK. Again saying is unexpected end. OK. So again it is throwing error because I forgot to keep a semicolon here. Now run this. So now given number is odd number. So suppose if you set it as 1236. OK, so it will return as given number is even number. OK. So just tell me now uh, by looking at the code, the previous code, is it possible to identify where the exact error is? It is somewhat difficult. OK, now let's see one more example. OK, this program I have already explained. OK, so I want to 
get the list of prime numbers uh, before this number. So suppose if I pass 100 as argument, I want to list out all the prime numbers before 100 till 100. Okay. So this is the program. I have explained this program clearly. So I am not going to explain all the thing, but I am create. I am trying to create this procedure. Okay. Let's see. So if you see unexpected, this one at line number 31. Okay. And again, it is saying uh, there is some syntax error in line number 12, position 13, unexpected less than or equals to. Okay. So it is saying line number 31. So this is line number 31. Again, it is saying line number 12. Okay. So line number 12 means uh, in this program, it is maybe line number 12. So it is saying unexpected less than or equals to. So what someone will treat like, so what is the error with this? So do I have any error uh, with this condition? So do I have variable I declare? Do I have variable n or the argument n do I have? So they will be thinking most of the time at this only. But this uh, this procedure is not pointing the error correctly. So now what you have to do? You have to do you have to go line by line check where is the error. It is very difficult, right? So uh, take some I am giving some 15 seconds or 30 seconds I am giving you uh, just. Uh, <coughs> Identify where is the error. Okay, suppose you took 30 seconds, but have you identified where is the error? No. So let's see what can be the error. So this looks correct. Okay, so do looks correct. Flag equals to zero. So we have correct assignment operator. So for condition is correct. Do is correct. Again, this one is correct. Okay, no errors. Flag equals to one. Break end if end for we are closing this. Uh, if properly we are closing this for properly so again we have one if statement and we are closing it properly and you can see so there are semicolons at the end of each and every statement okay so everything looks like good but where is the error if you see keenly here so i equals to i plus one but if you see so this is uh, not correct so it should be like so colon then equals to assignment operation but while typing fastly, you can type like this. So like this, but it will not find this error. So it is saying there is error in the line number line this line. OK, so is it easy to uh, find out the error, the compilation errors? So I am again and again saying it's very difficult to um, find out the compilation errors. OK, so I'll tell you what to do. OK, so let's now change this and try to create this procedure now it's working fine okay so now run this procedure so i'm running with 100 so it is giving me uh, the list of prime numbers before 100 so if i say 500 okay and call this it will give me the list of four prime numbers till 500 okay Okay, you can see the list of four prime numbers till 500. Okay, so now you understood, right? Why I'm saying again and again. So it's difficult to find out the compilation errors. So let me tell you how to identify these compilation errors, how to how to fix them. So what you have to do. So if you are not able to find the error in the procedure, so you have to follow these steps. Okay, you have to follow these steps. Okay, let me do this. Okay, so what is the first thing you have to do? Verify if semicolon is missing anywhere or all semicolons are placed properly or correctly. So you have to identify, you have to check your code. So, and you have to make sure all of your statements are uh, ending with semicolon. So, but some cases are exceptional. Suppose if you see this program, so this is complete while block right so we end this while here here the semicolon will be there but here or here it is not required but for evaluating the expressions it is required suppose flag equals to zero flag equals to one prime equals to prime so these for all these expression statements it is must and should you have to close all of them but but if you have suppose if statement or for loop or while loop so you have to place uh, the semicolon at the end of the loop okay so this is very important so many people 
will be missing this uh, semicolons and they will be um, scratching their heads where is the error where is the error okay so the second one is verify all variable assignment assignments and expressions so sometimes people what they do while, while doing uh, uh, variable assignments or expressions they will simply say like uh, prime equals to prime concatenation concatenation of i or they will say flag equals to 1 and if you see if you look at the code no one will think like uh, flag equals to 1 the statement is correct only but why i am getting error but the assignment operator is the correct assignment operator is this one so you have to use this so if you miss it also so the error will point somewhere somewhere in the program not exactly here so you have to make sure all the assignments are done properly okay uh, that can be assignment of values or assignment of expressions it should be proper and verify all ifs and loops ended properly or not i told you already so if we don't uh, end this if what will happen okay if we don't end the loop what will happen so be careful you have to close the if statement by end if any loop by end for uh, any loops you can end by using like uh, end while end for okay like that and fourth one is verify all variables have okay this colon in front of the variable name if you are using them in the sql statement so if you are using variables in the sql statement definitely it's mandatory to use colon in front of the uh, variable name but suppose if you see here this is not a sql statement program but if you see in the while loop okay here our this uh, the argument is n and these are some variables so if you see for variable i am not using colon in front of the variable name or i am not using colon in front of the argument uh, but it is mandatory if you are using them in a sql statement this i or n then it's mandatory uh, to use colon in, in front of that variable in the SQL statement and validate line by line code. So this is very important. Suppose I have very big program. Okay, I have uh, hundreds of uh, lines of code. Okay, let me take one example. Okay. So I have a very big, suppose I have hundreds of statements, okay, and I'm trying to create this procedure, but it is failing, okay, it is throwing some error. So in that case, in that case, what we have to do, you can uh, divide, divide this program, suppose, uh, so I, I want to make sure, uh, suppose, I, I'll say like this, okay, at the end, I'll say like this. So this part will not come into compilation. So uh, then I will try to create this procedure. So if it is creating successfully, then there is no error in this block. Now what I will do? So I will take the below part. Okay. So suppose I will come to here. Okay. I will place like this. Okay. Then, then uh, if we are able to create the procedure successfully, then there is no error in this statement as well. Okay. Then definitely we can say the error is in this statement like this you can do divide and conquer so divide the divide or by using comments you can uh, identify where the error is okay by commenting some lines of code okay you can identify or you can validate line by line code so if you have only 10 lines then no need to put comment okay J just verify each and every line where the uh, where the error is okay so these are the tips that can be used while debugging the compilation errors okay i hope this is helpful okay next let's see how to handle runtime errors so what are the runtime errors the errors we get at the time of executing the stored procedures so if you have any runtime error so that cannot be caught at the time of compilation that means at the time of creation of the stored procedure it won't throw any error so the compilation will be passed successfully and the procedure will be created but at the time of execution the procedure will fail so th there can be some reasons suppose if any object is used in the stored procedure that is missing in the database definitely uh, at the time of creating the procedure it will not throw any error but at the time of executing this procedure it will throw one error so these types of errors are called runtime errors 
so there can be any number of reasons for runtime errors some of them i listed here suppose uh, the table you are using in the stored procedure may be missing okay or the view you are using in the procedure maybe it is missing or you are using wrong table name or wrong view name or you can you are using wrong column name suppose if i have emp id in the database but you are saying e employee id so which is wrong so these are also uh, will throw the runtime errors suppose missing of streams so the stream you are using uh, in the procedure is missing or stale streams that means the stream became outdated that means if you if any stream that is created on the object if it is not capturing any changes for 14 days so it will go into stale state so in that case also it will throw runtime error so data type error suppose uh, uh, you are trying to load a numeric data into a varchar field so at the time of creating procedure it will not throw any error but the but at the time of executing while loading the data into table so it will throw one error and wrong data from source okay so th this is also one possibility so data itself is wrong uh, suppose whatever i i just told right so if source is sending the data uh, numeric data in place of string data uh, so which is not correct but we but it will throw runtime errors so these are some possible errors that we may get at the time of executing procedures okay so but uh, here the easy thing is mostly you can fix these errors by looking at the error message you get okay so unlike uh, compilation errors these are very easy to identify suppose if any object is missing so the error message will say like uh, uh, this table is missed or uh, there is no access on this table like this it will say so it will give you the table name as well suppose if you are using wrong column name it will say this column is uh, not present in the specified table okay like that it will throw error message so by looking at that error message you can easily identify where the error is and uh, suppose if table is missing or if the wrong column name you you are using then you can correct them easily okay so i hope you understood the compilation errors are very difficult to find out okay but the runtime errors you can easily find out and you, you can easily fix so these are very very important so in real time if you are using procedures right uh, so this is mandatory to uh, create procedures and run procedures so you'll be getting lot of errors and you will be scratching your heads to identify where is the error and how to fix this so that time these uh, tips will be very useful okay thank you